Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the shop once again. So today we're working on a 2006 F-150 with the 5.4.3 valve, of course, Triton engine. And it has a tick to it at idle and just about all the time on here. Now it sounds just like an exhaust manifold tick or a roller follower tick. Now roller follower failure and ticks, you know, looseness, wear uh, is not as common on these earlier models as it is on the 09 and newer models. So that kind of eliminates that right there. But let's go ahead and start it up. We'll take a listen. One thing you'll notice is the tick is constantly there. Almost sounds like either an exhaust manifold tick or a valve train tick, but it's there from cold on and never really goes away. Whereas an exhaust manifold, once it warms up and kind of expands a little bit, it'll start to go away. So I'll start it up. Let you listen, a little pull a plug or two, and see what's going on here. It's a real clean truck. Let it idle down a little bit. Let's go take a listen. Almost sounds like an exhaust leak. Almost sounds like a valve train tick, but the wrap from the tick is not as sharp as it would be with a metal roller follower so the way you do this initially is you get up in here you kind of listen to side to side in the wheel well there and then you stick your head up in here especially cold and you start sniffing around and kind of feeling around so it sounds like it's more on the driver's side so what i'll do is i'll stick my head right over this and let the exhaust gases come up if they're leaking out of the spark plugs and it smells pretty good over here it's awfully quiet too now on this side, it's a different story. Oh yeah, strong fuel smell. It can almost smell like raw fuel gases. So the next thing that I do before I turn it off, and I'll put my finger on top of each one of the coils and push down hard. You'll feel the pulse coming through. Don't feel it, maybe a little bit. This one. Not so much. So it feels like it's coming from this one right here. Oh yeah, I feel it now, I feel it now. I mean, I can feel it coming right through. I can even feel it over here and everything. This one, so that'd be number six. Not so much on five. Seven, I don't feel anything. And eight, I don't really feel anything. Usually it's the rear cylinders only because when people are changing spark plugs on these, um, they, do, they don't have the, the reach and the torque, um, the strength that far back, reaching that far back to get them actually tightened to spec. Now, the reason why these plugs come loose on here, I've never seen them eject, but the reason why they come loose even on a three valve is because people change them out, they put a lot of anti-seize on them, and then they do not torque them the spec. The spec on these is 25 foot pounds. Most plugs nowadays are around 12, 10 foot pounds. So it's weird to see 25 foot pounds, but that's what these are. If you don't torque them down, they will come loose like this. And the more they back out, the louder that tick's gonna get. But putting your hand on it initially and feeling, put your fingers right on top of that coil, I can feel it. So number six here. So we're gonna shut it off and we're gonna come back and we're gonna pull that plug together to see how it looks. All right, let's take a look. So here's five, here's six. We'll go ahead and get the PCV tube out of the way. A little bit. Pull the electrical connector on it. So we have it identified. We went ahead and we felt it. You could smell it on definitely on the side. You know what, for this one, I'll pull the injector connector also. And we'll go ahead and pull that coil. Now these coils, they're obviously new. Uh, they have the, the latest engineering number on them, so I know they're not originals. And I think this truck only has around 65,000 miles on it, believe it or not. So. They probably weren't changed too long ago. So first thing you're gonna do is take out the coil and then you're gonna look at the boot. Now, by now, you'll be overwhelmed with a fuel exhaust smell coming out of that hole and from the boot. So 
Let's look at the boot. So the boot's gonna be extra dirty for no apparent reason. See it? And you'll start getting this tannish brown uh, look to it. And eventually be like a dry tan brown coated on the whole tip here until about right here. And you can also smell it. Oh yeah, it smells like raw fuel. So I already blew it off once, but blow it off again before you actually pull the plug. The other test I do is you put your, your extension, your spark plug socket in there, okay? And we'll do this. We'll try to turn it out by hand. I don't know if you can tell or not, but I'm turning it out by hand. See that? Yeah. So it was probably tightened, obviously, like the rest of them, but this one wasn't tightened enough and definitely wasn't to that 25 foot pound spec. And guess what? Now it's backing out. So it can burn up the boot, as you saw. The quills are usually fine, but it makes that ticking noise and it can lead to a, a misdiagnosis. So check this out. Get the thing out of the way. So let's take a look at it, okay? So I'll show you by zooming in a bit. So you can see the plug. It's like a motorcraft plug. It gets extra dirty up through here. This is all the anti-seize getting pushed up. Too much of that. Looks like, yeah, there's a bunch of it right here too. Too much of that. But the one thing you'll notice though, there's no ground straps. So these have a U-shaped ground strap that goes over side to side here and it's not there. And that's because the cylinder actually burns, it runs lean when it's loose uh, and it will burn up the tiniest bit of metal in there. The smallest piece, the sharpest little piece of metal, um, and that in this case is the ground strap going over. It's a thin piece of metal and it will burn it off. It'll burn it off over time. There's like, right there's the welding marks for it. Yeah, there you go. That's where the weld was on there and it's totally gone. So the center electro is much thicker and it's designed for that kind of uh, heat and all that, whereas the outside ground's literally an arcing point for the center electrode. So when it runs lean like that, it'll glow red and it will eventually burn off. So that's what happened. So like I said, that's how it sounds. It's gonna sound, let me get this fixed. It's gonna sound like a follower tick, um, but then it also smells and kind of puffs like an exhaust manifold. The way to tell is that, like I said, an exhaust manifold will go away eventually once it heats up, unless it's really bad. Um, and then a valve train tick will have a sharper wrap to it, more sharp tick tap wrap to it. Uh, whereas this one's like a, a, a puff kind of sound. And that's all it took. You run it, you listen to the wheel well, you put your finger on the quill, you're feeling for it, you're feeling for it. Yeah, I can feel the thumping in here. The pressure cycle's coming through there. Okay, pull the coil. You see it's all full of soot and, and nastiness on there. Okay, we're getting closer. You pull the plug out and boom, there's your confirmation right there. The fact that it doesn't have a ground electrode on there and it's all burnt up. And you can see the actual exhaust gas is coming up, 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 past the threads and coming up here with the anti-seize and everything else. So. In this case, yeah, we could just go ahead and you have to replace this plug at this point. Um, but what you want to do, obviously, is check the rest of the plugs. If this one's loose, the others could be starting to back out and um, starting to burn up like this. So that's how it is, though. That That's from beginning to end the diagnosis on there. And, of course, the fix is to clean out the cylinder and put in new Ford spark plugs. Very, very light coat of anti-seize and then torque them to 25 foot-pounds on these early design plugs that are an M16 design, the SP546 Motorcraft plugs. This is how that spark plug used to look. You can see it on here, line it up. Yeah, ground strap's missing all the way around. This whole thing right here is the ground strap, that loop right there. So that's what gets really hot, sticking down the cylinder by itself. No way to heat sink anything because it's not part of the rest of the shell and it will burn off glow red and burn off over time. So we're gonna go ahead and change it out so you guys can hear what it sounds like when that plug is properly torqued. Good to go. And we'll 
we'll go ahead and put it in there. Now I'm not gonna use anti-seize on this one because I think he put enough anti-seize down in there for a long, long time. I mean, that, that last plug was just goobered up in it. So go all the way down like that by hand and then I'll tighten it by hand. Get my other socket for this down in there. And like I said, the torque spec is 25, but I do them by hand. Have my little three eights here and I have a feel for it, a real good feel. Okay, good to go. I'll go ahead and take some brake clean. I'll clean the boot for now. Like I said, these can get pretty torched and they become like almost like brittle. I think it'd be cracking because they're getting way too heat soaked. So I'll do that and then I'll do a smidgen of dielectric on there on the boot. I'll put it back in here. And I'm just going to connect all this up and not even bolt it down because this one's coming apart for a timing job too. But we'll be able to hear it. This is the only one I felt on this side making that noise. I could feel it. The pulses. Okay, let's put this back on so it runs. There we go. Alright, we're good enough for now. We can go ahead and start it up. So I'll just take you off of here. Do this in one full video like this. We'll take a listen. Sounds good. Passes the sniff test. That's all it was. So before you just start jumping to internal engine repairs or pulling off exhaust manifolds, verify where the noise is actually coming from. This is a pretty common occurrence, especially when someone's been changing plugs that doesn't know the spec. That's all for now. I hope you guys learned something, and I'll see you guys next time.